In my quest for world domination, I've built many contraptions over the years. But as you can see, I haven't achieved my goal. The, the world is still free. So I've been thinking about stepping it up a bit and building a giant rideable robe. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that there is a name for this giant robotic thing, but I haven't done much research. And I'm going to start by building a giant robotic hand just to see how hard this giant robotic thing is. There are a million robotic hand designs online, but none of them are for giant robots. So I chose this design in here, but with an extra bit in this thumb in here. Something like this. So let's give a go to the index finger. And just like that, this is a finger with its three sections that I designed in Fusion 360 and 3D printed myself. And now we need to make it move by itself. This is a belt tensioner, so I want this pulley to be supported from both sides, from the side of the servo and the side of the tensioner. And that's what this bearing here is for. But the hole is 5 mm and the head of an M3 screw is 5.5 mm. And I don't have a lathe, so... And that's one finger complete. And now before I make the other five, the other four, the other four, I will put some wires in it to see if everything moves as it should. The first and second sections work great, but to test the third section, I need the palm of a hand. For the first and second sections of the finger, I'm using these 11 kg servos, but for the third section, I will be using these 25 kg servos because this one will have to leave the entire finger, and that's a lot of torque required. So let's see how it works.
We have a working palm and finger, and now it's time for the other four, but before we do that, a quick ad from PVCase. PVCase is a next-generation AutoCAD-based photovoltaic software for ground and roof-mounted installations, allowing to simulate the actual location of a solar plant from the early stages of planning and incorporating 3D topographical data points. PVCase is the ideal choice for companies undertaking large commercial and industrial projects, as well as utility-scale plants, as it includes features that go from flexible 3D modeling in complex terrain and slope analysis for ground-mounted projects to inverter placement and layout generation for roof-mounted setups. By offering features for prototyping, electrical design, stringing, shading analysis, terrain analysis, and automatic generation of construction documentation, PVCase enables engineers and designers to take a project from its initial stages all the way to the procurement phase, all without having to switch between different tools or software platforms, which reduces errors and saves time while reducing the learning curve and improving productivity. And PVCase has recently acquired Anderson Optimization, the world's most popular solar seating software platform. You can try PVCase for free following the link in the description. And now, back to the hand. I think that's all. I will clean up the wiring a bit. We both know that world domination is not an easy game, and leaving everything exposed will be a huge error. It's more or less finished, so I will try to show you some moves. I want to try and grab some stuff, but before I try with something hard, I will try with something soft like this, just in case.
Mm. It seems that you cannot grab stuff doing, doing this. Let's see how this goes. There you go. Let's see if it is any good playing basketball. Right now, the hand is drawing 6.2 amps at 5 volts. And that's because I have no feedback position and therefore the servos are pressing with all the half against the ball. But you may have seen that there is a fourth wire on each servo. And that wire is connected to the potentiometer that tells the servo where it is. And in the future I'm planning to connect that wire to the controller so I can have position feedback and that way I will know what I'm holding and what's its shape and a couple of other features that will be very handy when I'm inside the robot and I can see outside. Open. It took a while to design and build this hand, but I think it's a great start to a great potential project. So if you are interested in seeing me build a giant rideable robot, leave it in the comments down below. Also, how would you call a giant rideable robot? Because I'm pretty sure that there is a name for that. Also, there are a few things that I need to fix here and there belt tensioning stuff but overall it was a really fun project so that's it for this video thanks a lot to all my patreons and members and now please go and make something